easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get the Sagittarius bow in the game Remnant 2. This bow is pretty awesome and it will kill most non-elite enemies in one hit and it's not even upgraded yet. Also comes with a really nice mod attached to it called Starfall which opens a portal raining down stars onto your enemies. This can be found in the Cathedral of Omens, which is part of the Yasha area of the world map. Now to get to this, you're going to have to go through the Faithless Thicket. It's up on the left hand side from that entrance, right up to the Cathedral of Omens in the corner here. Now you're going to have quite a few different levels to go through before you reach this area. So it is just a matter of just playing through, exploring until you uncover this doorway. But from the Forbidden Grove entrance where you start, you're going to go through this area until you come down to this doorway that leads you into the Twisted Chantry. So you'll go through that area and then come out the other side. Then you'll make your way down until you meet this guy called the Pan Flutist you will have a conversation with him. And then just down from him is the water harp. Now you'll know the water harp because it's got this large carving of the Ravenger beast above it. And then this cog that looks like some sort of puzzle, but yeah, you're not going to be able to complete that right now because you're not going to have access to a lever that you're going to need. But there is going to be a video on the channel on how to do this if you are struggling with it. But behind us now from here, from where this water heart puzzle is, is this ramp and staircase leading up, which will take you to the Faithless Thicket doorway. So that's how you access it. So once you go into the Cathedral of Omens, you're going to notice this very large contraption which is casting shadows and shapes on the floor. Yes, it's a puzzle and it is quite long winded to be honest with you until you get your head around how to do this. So take note of the rings and the symbols on the floor here because they will tie up to a specific part of the puzzle which will unlock the bow for you. Each of these symbols has a meaning. There's also three levers within this room. They are around this circular area. Two of the levers will move the positions of the circle shapes of the shadows and one of the levers will actually rotate the symbols themselves. So what you've got to do is you've got to highlight certain symbols with the round circular shadows in order to be able to unlock this bow. Now it's not like you've just got to figure it out on your own because I think to be honest with you you'll probably be here all day just randomly pulling levers and yeah after a while you might look out and you might actually be able to unlock something here because there is two doors that you can unlock and the bow in the middle but don't worry because there is some clues for you to use. Up in the corner here is a small library and on the desk is a book that will give you some tips on what you need to do. So first, when you open the book, you need to take note that it's showing you what the symbols are, the sun, the moon and life. And then on the next page, it's going to show you the symbols for death, the doe and the ravager. So what we're looking for here is the hope. And in these messages that you'll find in this book, uh, words that are in capitals like the doe, ravager, sun, and life. So in order to open this and unlock this bow, we need to highlight the symbols for the doe, ravager, sun and life. So now what you need to do is go back to the levers and you just need to pull away at the levers until you get the circles around those four symbols. And once you've done that, it's going to unlock the bow, which is in the center here. Now I'm going to leave you a little screenshot here to look at so you can see the symbols that I highlighted here to be able to unlock the bow. It is just a matter of pulling those levers until you line them up. You can pull the same lever multiple times 
and you're just going to have to go around in this room and play around until you actually get the right combination because I had to try a number of times to be able to line them up so it would have been an absolute mess for me to include the video clip of me doing that but at least you know what symbols need to be lined up now with the circular shadows hopefully you'll get this guys and you'll get this pretty sweet Sagittarius bow this video has helped you don't forget to like comment and subscribe why not check out some of my other Remnant 2 videos so I'll catch you guys on another video and thanks for watching.